welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Hannah and today we'll be talking about the new iOS 14 update, which I believe is the biggest update Apple has done so far. So let's get right into it. So in order for you to get your screen to look like this, first things first, you're going to go to your settings. Scroll down to general and then software update. Well, there's a new one. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it will take some time, so just plug in your phone and sit back, do something else meanwhile. So, let me show you everything there is new with the new update. At first, I was unsure if the update was more like a filter or a layout, which it is not. The benefit of that is that we can be more creative and just really try to make our own individual pages. It's also really important to choose a theme or aesthetic that really represents yourself or something that you feel comfortable in. So for me, that was something that is really natural, really light, maybe some vintage pictures but really your options are endless so you could do color coordination if you don't want to use the shortcuts because what the shortcuts do is actually open the shortcut app before opening the application another thing that is new with the new iOS 14 update is something that I am super excited about and it's the app library so I have three pages so I need to scroll onto one more so it's the fourth and the app library appears and they automatically created folders categorizing all the applications that I have, so games, health, fitness, shopping and food, and so on. Which means that I can declutter my phone and simply keep whatever apps I frequently use on my main pages. So for example, if I take Instagram out on a main page, I don't have to delete it, I can move it to the app library. It won't appear here, but it will appear in the app library right here. Another thing that you can do if you want to have your applications on your main page is if you edit your home screen, then go to the dots down here to edit your pages and then simply take out one page so it won't appear. We have only these two pages now and then go straight to the app library, but you can get the secret page back if you edit your home screen again and then take it on and it appears right here. Apple finally created something that Samsung had for over many years and it's called the widgets. If you press on the plus in the upper right corner, they show you widgets of applications that you're using. So here's some smart stacks, you have weather, music, notes and so on. But if you want your widgets to be more visually appealing, you can find an app which I use to edit my widgets in the App Store. And the application is called Widgetsmith. So it is this one right here. Here's another little trick that I learned. If you go to your settings, there is a new feature called the home screen. If we press on that, we can actually decide where our apps will be downloaded to. So it can be either to the home screen or to the app library. And I like them to go directly to the app library so I don't have to declutter it. But let's get started with our widgets. So I just opened my Widgetsmith app and it'll show you all the widgets I have created, which are three small ones and two medium ones. You also have the option to create one large one, but I think it is too big for my screen. So I stayed within these two categories. So in order for you to create these widgets, for example, a small one, we're just gonna go to add widget and it will look something like this. We can press on it and then we can choose what we want. So we can either go with time, with date and custom such as pictures or texts, battery, upcoming events, reminders, and so on and so forth. Let's, as an example, just do the day and the date. You can go on and choose the font if you like. They added a few for your options. I normally stick with New York because I think it looks really classy and modern. As for colors, I stick with either the white or you can go in and create your own custom color right here. So let's do a little cream tone and then you can add the background color. I really love the cream color right here, pastel orange or the dark orange. So let's go with the dark orange. And here we have an option to create a border, which I do not want for this widget right here. So let's just go back and save this one. Now we created a widget, let's add it to the home screen. 
I'm gonna go to my home screen right here, edit my screen, click on the plus and add a widget. So we're gonna go to the app because we created a widget right here. Go to add widget and it will appear. Sometimes it can happen that it won't show the widget that we just created, maybe it'll show another one. But we can change that if we click on it, go to edit widget and it will show us the options that we have. So I can do the first one, here it is, and so on and so forth. You can also delete them by removing them. Let's create another one that's a bit bigger so you can also see what that is like. We go to add a medium widget. We can have a bigger calendar here or a bigger time widget. Um, if we want to create a text, we could also do it here. So just press on that, go to text and type in whatever text you want. So let's say, I don't know, hello pumpkin. We can go on and choose the font. Let's stay within the same category. So I'll go with New York. We can change the tint color again. Let's maybe do it the other way around. So I'm gonna go with orange and then the background color. Let's do cream this time and we can do a border, either white or the orange. And we can save that and add it to our home screen. Right here, go to widget smith. Add a medium widget. This one will appear, we can move it around and then just like before, press on it, go to edit widget and then choose the one we created, which is the hashtag three. And ta-da, our widget appeared. All right, let's get to the most exciting and most time consuming part of this transformation, which are these app covers. So this is actually not the real application. It's a shortcut that I created and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we do have a shortcut app on our phone. We're gonna open that one. And as you can see, I already created many shortcuts myself. So let's do one together. We're gonna to press on the plus in the upper right corner, go to add action, scripting, and then go to open app. So we're telling the application to create a shortcut to open an app. And let's do an example for, let's say Instagram. We're gonna press on the three dots right here. This section right here is for your information to see what shortcut you created, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go to add to home screen edit the title of the application that we're creating. Let's do Instagram, but you can literally do whatever. And then here you can either take a photo, choose a photo or choose a file. So I'm gonna go with choose a photo and then choose some of those that I just downloaded. And I chose this one for Instagram. You can move the picture around until you're satisfied with the frame. Go to choose and then add. That's it, and it will appear on your home screen right here. You can, just like the other applications, move it around, get it to the place where you like, and that is that. If you're wondering where I got all my pictures from, I actually created a Pinterest board just for you. I will link it in the description box down below. I called it Apple Theme iOS 14, and you'll find all my pictures right on here. We're now near the end of our video, but I wanted to show you one last thing that is new with the update. And normally if you get an incoming call, your whole screen would be occupied by the call, but now you'll just only get a little banner up here. So if someone calls you, it will appear like this. You can also drag it down and go back to the big screen where you can add a message or whatever. And you can change that by going into your settings, going all the way down to phone, and then go to incoming calls. And here you can change whether you wanna see it as a banner or a full screen. All right, so that was it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. This was actually my first video, so if there's any critique or feedback, please feel free to leave it down in the comments below or write me on Instagram. I'm also trying to get really into it, so I'm planning on doing another video about cleaning out my closet, but if you have any ideas or wishes, feel free to let me know. 
Thank you so much. I wish you a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Is it obvious that I like pumpkins? Pumpy, pumpy, pumpkin. You're lucky.